from beautiful, beautiful Myrtle Beach. Good morning. <laughs> we are here for the weekend and we've got a lot of stuff that we have planned today. We'll see how much we can get done, but some exciting stuff. We're gonna go check out the new Top Golf. We're not gonna play today. We're gonna save that for another trip, but we are gonna actually go in and check out the restaurant and everything. It just opened. Good quick tour. Yeah, quick tour. And we're also going to be back down to the beach a little bit later in the pavilion area because there's Highland Games going on today, which is really exciting. I think it's maybe the first year at Myrtle Beach. We're not sure, but we're going to go check that out as well. And then we've got some other exciting stuff planned. It's a beautiful morning. It's a little overcast as you can see, but it's just gorgeous. And I'm standing here in short sleeves and perfectly comfortable. Can't complain about that for early March. All right, it is fully open now. We're gonna go inside and check it out and it looks pretty nice. This is really neat. Look at all the outside bars on the each level. You see that? Oh yeah, that's cool. They got a ground level bar, mid-level bar, and then bar up top. Neat. We are definitely probably gonna come back and check this out. I think we're just gonna wait till it's a little bit warmer and uh, nicer out. Although, didn't you say these little areas are heated that you play yeah. golf in? That's neat. They have a really big bar area down here on the main level and then they have guest services and also some merchandise. There's the pricing structure right there. I'll zoom in on it a little bit. It's interesting, the price varies depending on the time of day and also on the day of the week. But what's nice is it's per bay, not per person. You can play with up to six players in a bay. Here are what the bays look like on the first level. And Brian just informed me this would be the hardest level to play on. <laughs> Lots of bays here on the first level. Got a nice table with chairs. And there's all your clubs. I like it how they go ahead and tell you for newbies like us, like what does what, you know? Yeah, that's nice. So like nice. what color, um, I guess, target you're shooting for, right? Yeah. Nice. And then out here we've got the actual targets. There's your putting green, and they've even got more information over here as well. Sorry for the glare. Pretty neat. Here's their menu. Lots of beers on top. Oh wow, they've even got breakfast and brunch on the menu. This is an extensive menu, so I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but definitely a lot of stuff. Let's flip over and look at the food. Oh, yum. Food looks good. Wow. We've actually never been to a Top Golf, but I've had friends that have gone and really, really enjoyed it, and they were not golfers, so that's why we figured we'd give it a try, even though we're not golfers. And then let's flip to breakfast and brunch. Ooh, brunch cocktails. <laughs> You can get your drink on in the morning. <laughs> oh, breakfast burrito, French toast. Nice. Lots of options for sure. We're gonna head up to the next level to check things out. It's good music here. Up here they've got some TVs that you can watch sports on, some other seating. And then they have the patio that we showed you from the outside. So this is the second level. And then of course they've got more bays outside. Here are the bays on the second level. This is really big. I mean, these are a lot of bays. And if you're not familiar with Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach is a golfing destination. So I think this will be really, really popular here. I just walked under this and realized this heater is on. I could definitely feel it. So it does take the chill out. Up to the third floor. And they have another bar up here on the third floor. How fun. Foosball. Music's really loud out here, so hopefully you can hear me, but here's that top floor patio we saw from the parking lot. Now we're on the bays at the third floor. Oh, there goes a ball. <laughs> Wow. 
This is nice up here. I kind of like this floor. Yeah. So you can even see the hotels on the ocean right over there. I think from here I could maybe make the yellow. <laughs> you think you could make the yellow? I think I could make that red right there. <laughs> we came in a little further down and they have some of these have couches instead of just the bar table and I actually like this a lot. There is fancier lighting. There is fancier lighting. And then also you still have the bar with the seats back there next to Brian. So I, I like this, it's sort of the best of both worlds. So you guys know I'm super short, so this couch would be a whole lot more comfortable for me than those high bar chairs. You can see the Ferris wheel from Broadway right there. And there's that Hampton Inn and the lighthouse from Margaritaville. So you can see just how close it is to Broadway. Some people were asking about this. It's literally like across the street from Broadway at the beach. I'm really impressed, I have to say. This yeah. looks like a lot of fun when- Looking forward to coming back and playing. When it's a little warmer and a little later in the day, I think this would be more fun. Even though the pricing is higher, I kind of rather come and have a drink and hang out. I think that would be a lot of fun. Not so, yeah. so we'll, I think we will be back for sure when it's just a little warmer and maybe sunny since it's a little overcast today. Looks like a fun time. On the ground level, they have what looks like a setup for events because there's a stage right down there on the end. Uh, pretty interesting. So we're back out to the front now to the parking lot and we are going to move on to our next thing for today. You know you're in the right place for a Highland Games Festival when you see a guy walking down the street in a kilt. Aww, how cute! <laughs> we got some horses. They have a lot of events today with the Border Collies herding the sheep and it's just so cute how the Collie's just sitting there. He's waiting for the event to start. Oh wow. Okay, like, okay. Yeah, I mean that is amazing. Wow. It's almost like a cat. Yes. That is just amazing. He's herding them right into that little corral. Wow, that level of training and obedience is just really amazing. My parents used to have Border Collies and they are just amazing dogs, they really are. Here's the central area of the festival. They've got some food booths. Looks like some good barbecue. Lots of stuff going on. Here are some of the games. Guess I'm not at the best angle right now, but here we go. Wow. We're very curious about this game that's about to start across the field where they have a pointy looking stick and this burlap sack that they stab and throw. And we were both talking about how running around with that looks really dangerous. Is that a pitchfork? I can't yeah, tell from here. Oh, it's a pitchfork. Wow. Yeah, that was a good toss. Probably pretty heavy. And there's the ocean. I mean, this is definitely a great venue for this event. Oh, are they trying to get it over that bar? Yeah, I think. Oh, over or the, that's the height? height. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> over it. That would make sense. And then over there, there's people throwing really heavy stones as well. So we got all kinds of events going on. While we're here, we're gonna head down to the actual boardwalk area and walk around a little. This never, ever, 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 ever gets old. I just love it. 
and it's so nice today. I, I wish it was sunnier, but it feels fantastic out today. Boardwalk is completely deserted, but it doesn't surprise me because those Highland games are right here. So I guess everyone who's out here is over there checking out the Highland games. They still have the Christmas lights, not only on all the palm trees, but actually lit. So don't know if that's going to be a year round thing now or what. We walk down to this park here where this statue is right next to the sky wheel because one of our viewers told us to check out something over here on the wall. So we're going to check it out. There's the statue I was just at. We're here to the wall near the street. And there's a little bitty door. The door. Is there anyone home? It does not open. That's <laughs> funny. That's so cute. We're headed to the Tanger Outlets next. I need to find some Capris for an upcoming trip to Las Vegas. And we'll see what else is there to check out. That may be the only thing we do. And then I think later we're going to go to Broadway at the beach. We love walking around there. Right over in this area is the old Hard Rock theme park land and Brian said he just read that it sold to the former mayor so hopefully he will develop that land because it's a big plot of land. If you haven't seen it we actually have a video about the abandoned theme park and I'll link to that above. Wow a lot of people already at the outlet. We made it to Tanger and this is probably all the filming I'm going to do today because we're not actually here to browse we're just here for utilitarian purposes to buy me some capris. We have been here so many times. Granted, we don't usually come in from this direction. We're at Broadway, and I just noticed this, the Avenue sign. Brian thinks it's been here all along. I don't remember it, so please leave in the comments if you know if this is new or not. When we were on 17 Business, there were so many cars. There's a lot of cars in the parking lot, but to me, Broadway still doesn't look super packed. I don't know where everybody is, but it's not really that busy, but boots are back. They weren't here last time we were here. So that tells you right there, it's tourist season. Tourist season. Yep. <laughs> yep. Big line to get into the aquarium, so we will be taking a pass on that. But they have got a ton of it ripped off now for construction. There's the boots Brian was talking about. And also, apparently Ripley's now has a beer garden. We have come down here to check it out and it's this outdoor area so they're finally putting this to good use. We always said they really needed to do something with this area because it's primo location. So you have this nice view of Broadway and the lake. They've even got little loungers over there. Looks good. They finally are opening this 4D experience with the Simpsons. It says now in previews. We just overheard the attendant telling a family that it's $24, I think $24.99. $24 for adults, adults and 18 for children. children. And so they were like, nope, we'll go to the aquarium. I actually heard the family say that. So uh, that's kind of pricey because you could go to the aquarium for that price. Um, I'll be surprised if that price doesn't drop, won't you? Yeah, I mean, I wonder how long the ride is, you know, for motion. Ride. I don't know, because so for the two of us, it'd be 50 bucks. It'd be over 50 with tax. Oh. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Well, the people are apparently on this side of Broadway. The other side was like wide open, but on this side, there's quite a few people for sure. It's Sugar replaced my Pusheen shop with a donutery. And they also have Tipsy Scoop Burler liquor infused ice cream. Really smells good in here. I guess that's a donut, it's yum. Wow, mango margarita ice cream. Strawberry white sangria sorbet. My Pusheens were just relocated. I mean, this is a smaller selection, but at least they're still here. We're back to where we started. We're to the entertainment district and we parked right next to Dave and Buster's because we want to pop into Dave and Buster's on our way out. We're gonna just do a quick pop in here and see if there's any interesting cards on the uh, Star Trek coin pusher game field. All right, here we are. See anything? No. I'm 
excited to go see this movie. I think Brian's more excited about the cat. We have had an awesome weekend at Myrtle Beach. We appreciate you watching. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure.